Welcome to today's lesson on Triangles Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the four different types of triangles. Right triangles, scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's begin today using the diagrams below to identify these four different types of triangles. We're going to start with this yellow triangle all the way to the left. This yellow triangle is called a scalene triangle. A scalene triangle is a triangle that has three sides that are all different lengths and three angles that are all different angles. For example, this side of the triangle might be 10 centimeters long, whereas this side might only be 9 centimeters long and this side might be 8 centimeters long. Since each side is a different length, that means that it's a scalene triangle. Likewise, each angle has to be different as well. For example, this angle might be 60 degrees, this angle might be 30 degrees, and this angle might be 90 degrees. But each angle has to have a different measure. Let's go ahead and look at our next triangle. Our next triangle is called a right triangle. It's called a right triangle because it has to have a right angle in the triangle. A right angle is equal to 90 degrees. So the only way that you can have a right triangle is if the triangle has a 90 degree angle marked in the triangle. And you can see that we have it marked by the square that is in the corner. And that lets you know that it's a 90 degree angle. Let's go ahead and look at our next triangle. Our next triangle is called an equilateral triangle. And equilateral sounds like equal. And that's because all sides have equal values and all angles have equal values. For example, this side length might be 5 inches. This side length would then also have to be 5 inches. And our third side length would also have to be 5 inches. Likewise, each of our angles would have to have the same measurement. And since all three angles have to equal 180 degrees in a triangle, that means that the degrees on an equilateral triangle will always be 60 degree angles. Alright, let's take a look at our last triangle. This is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two sides that are going to have the same lengths and one side that will have a different length. Likewise, it will have two angles that have the same measurement and one angle that does not. Are you noticing a trend? The number of sides that have the same length is the same as the number of angles that have the same measurement. A scalene triangle doesn't have any sides with the same length and doesn't have any angles with the same measurement. An equilateral triangle has all three sides with the same length and all three angles with the same measurement. An isosceles triangle has two sides with the same length and two angles with the same measurement. Let's walk through a practice problem together. We have five triangles on the screen. I want you to identify which type of triangles these are. Let's go ahead and start with our blue triangle. As you can see, we have three angles that all have the same measurement. That must mean we also have three sides that all have the same length. So that sounds like an equilateral triangle. Let's go ahead and look at our red triangle. We have three sides that all have different lengths, which must also mean that we have three angles that all have different angles. That means we have a scalene triangle. Let's look at our green triangle. We have two angles that have the same measurement, which means we must have two sides that have the same length. That means that this must be an isosceles triangle. Let's take a look at this purple triangle over here. We have a square in the corner of this triangle. That means that this corner or this angle must represent 90 degrees and this must be a right triangle. Let's go ahead and look at our last triangle, the yellow one on the bottom of the screen. We have two sides that have the same length. That means that we also have two angles that have the same measurement. And if a triangle has two side lengths that are the same and two angles that have the same measure, 
That means we have another isosceles triangle. Let's try this riddle together. I have three sides. Two or more of my angles are the same. One of my angles measures 85 degrees. What type of triangle am I? Well, we know that we are dealing with a triangle because it asks what type of triangle we have and we know that all triangles have three sides. So let's go ahead and list our four types of triangles. Two or more of my angles are the same. Well, if two or more of the angles are the same, that means the triangle can't be a scalene triangle. Isosceles triangles have two or more angles that are the same. Equilateral triangles have two or more angles that are the same. And a right triangle could have two or more angles that are the same. So now let's move on to our next one. One of my angles measures 85 degrees. Well, if one of the angles is 85 degrees, that means it can't be an equilateral triangle. Because remember, equilateral triangles have to have all angles be 60 degrees. So that leaves us with an isosceles triangle and a right triangle. Now, if two of the angles are the same and one of the angles is 85 degrees, and we know a right triangle has to have at least one angle that's 90 degrees, that means we wouldn't be able to have 90 degrees plus two angles that are 85 degrees each, because that would be well over 180 degrees, which is in a triangle. So that means we have to cross out our right triangle, and that leaves us with an isosceles triangle. Let's take a moment to review what you've learned in today's lesson. A right triangle is a triangle that has one 90 degree angle. A scalene triangle has all side lengths and all angles that are different. An isosceles triangle has two sides and two angles that are going to be the same. And an equilateral triangle has all three sides and all three angles that are the same, which also means that it has to have all angles at 60 degrees.